learners of class 10. Welcome to the wonderful world of English language classroom. Learners, today we are doing a lesson, the first lesson from your supplementary reader. Learners, you know very well the purpose of the supplementary reader because we have been studying stories, learning stories, reading and enjoying for pleasure the supplementary reader text. Supplementary reader is unlike the main textbook is meant for promoting reading among children like you. That means, you should read for enjoyment, we call it extensive reading, reading for pleasure. So, we should understand that. So, we have to, we are, we are not going to deal with the stories, the texts in supplementary reader, the way we deal with the texts and stories of main textbook, that is class 10 for you the first flight. So, interestingly the book supplementary reader is titled as footprints without feet. We cannot have footprint without a feet. So, it is some mystery, some, uh, some literary element. So, learners uh, this is about extensive reading and reading for pleasure that keep it in mind. Okay. Now, we will take up the first lesson today, a triumph of surgery by James Harriet, who was a veterinarian, a veterinary doctor. His whole life he encountered, met lot of animals as a veterinary surgeon. He has recalled many of his experiments and experiences with animals and their masters, mistresses. So, he has given an account of how he felt and the events. Today, we will see a triumph of surgery. Come on, before I take you into the story, let me ask you some question. <coughs> Firstly, most of us have a pet dog or a cat or some other animal at home. And some people even have recently I read that uh, pythons as pets in USA and all. Uh, and we, in villages, we have cattle, cows, goats and they are almost like pet animals and also they are reared at home for other purposes. Uh, but we sometimes pamper our animals. Also, as parents, some parents or many parents pamper their children giving everything they want, or the children want, the child wants. So, is that right learners? And you also recall in your childhood, where you pampered by your parents or some of your uh, friends um, may have been or were pampered by their parents. Is it right to pamper, give everything the child wants? So, here is a story of a lady, Mrs. Pamphrey. She pampers her dog like anything, small dog. Then the result is very dangerous and our vet, the doctor of the animals, how he deals with it. Let us first learn the objectives of the lesson, then move on to the story. Now, objectives of this lesson. Learners, at the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend appreciate the short story, the triumph of surgery and interpret the ideas, themes and actions in the story. 2. Develop interest in reading literary texts, both fiction and non-fiction with an understanding for pleasure and enjoyment and discuss the ideas. So, it is clear we are reading the story for understanding and appreciation and enjoyment. So, we need not bother about minute details and some vocabulary and grammatical usage, just understanding of the story. Fine learners, you keep thinking about pamper, how uh, you were pampered or whether, uh, parent, how, whether it is right for the parents to pamper children. Come on, here is a story for you which appears in text as well as in visuals, tricky. A small dog was pampered and overfed 
by its mistress, Mrs. Fumferi. Tricky became hugely fat, looked dull, and his tongue lolled out from his jaws. The mistress told Mr. Harriet, the family veterinarian, that she had been feeding him with the extra meals. What were the extra meals in between? Some malt, cod liver oil, a bowl of horlicks, cakes, chocolates, and so on. Imagine children, these are all we humans eat, but she is feeding extra to her dog, Tricky. She could not give him any exercise except for a little walk every day. Mr. Harriet had warned her not to overfeed him, but Tricky was greedy of food. Mr. Harriet received the expected call after some days from Mrs. Humphrey saying that Tricky was not eating anything and was panting and vomiting a lot because he has been overfeeding him. The vet, Mr. Harriet, said that Tricky should be taken to hospital and kept under his supervision and observation at least for a fortnight. Mrs. Humphrey protested, but the vet was firm that the dog should be kept under his observation for some time, at least 15 days, a fortnight. So, she agreed. She and her staff sent all Tricky's things to the hospital to keep him comfortable. His carpet, sitting place, eating bowl, this, that. Mr. Harriet let the dog Tricky with his other household dogs. The other dogs, after sniffing around him for, for a few seconds, left him because they thought this is an uninteresting object and they ignored him. The vet made a good bed for him and gave him no food for a few days except water in plenty. Second day, Tricky started to show some interest in his surroundings and the third day he began to whimper at other dogs. You know, sometimes you, you, when you, a dog sees the other dog, it, it, it goes some sort of, it makes some sort of noise, it started whimper. Next day when the vet opened the door, Tricky trotted out and was engulfed by Zoe, another dog and his friends. They rolled him over and over and it went to the garden. When food was served, Tricky was not given a separate bowl. The dogs were ru rushing to finish their pot because they knew if they fell behind, if they eat slowly, the others who complete would come and eat away their pot, last part of the meal. When all the dogs had finished their food, Tricky went around and licked one or two bowls because he was not given a separate bowl. Then the next day, Tricky was given a separate bowl the next day. Then onwards, Tricky was showing steady progress and with no medical treatment. Tricky became one with the group, playing and started hunting rats. The vet informed her, Harriet informed Mrs. Humphrey that Tricky was recovering and out of danger and he said Tricky was convalescing rapidly. This lady Mrs. Femfrey understood convalescing something dangerous in her own way, she is an eccentric lady. So, she brought two dozens of egg, wine and brandy to make him stronger and healthy. What happened to the eggs and the brandy? All the eggs, wine and brandy made the vet happy, Mr. Harriet happy, because that means he ate it, he never gave it to the dog. It made him think, now he thinks, oh, if I keep the dog with me for long, I will be getting more eggs, wine and brandy, so let me keep him, though even though he has recovered. It made him think of keeping the dog as a permanent guest, but Mrs. Femfrey was concerned and suffering without the dog. The vet called Mrs. Femfrey to inform that Tricky had recovered. She was happy. She came in an extra long car and with a chauffeur 
she was worried even now and asked the vet, James Harriet, to do tell me, doctor, is he really better? Doctor said, see, he is fine, you can take him. In two weeks, Tricky had been transformed into lithe, hard muzzled animal, and he is just almost brushing the ground. So, it has grown, it is you know, like we say that uh, six pack uh, person, completely strong. Learners, look at the word used there. In two weeks, Tricky had been transformed into lithe, L I T H E is pronounced as lithe. Okay. We will come back to that. All the belongings which the vet never used of Tricky were brought back to the vehicle. Mrs. Femfrey was very excited and happy to see her pet healthy and hale and she was in tears. She was so emotional because she is an emotional, a kind of eccentric lady who pampered the dog. As they were leaving, she told the vet, how can I ever thank you doctor? This is a triumph of surgery. Learners, did Mr. Harriet do any surgery on him? No, we know that. He only disciplined him, his food habits because Mrs. Uh, Femfrey had been spoiling him by overfeeding him. She says that uh, she gave him horlicks, malt, cod liver oil. Can anyone give this to dogs? So, we call it a kind of eccentric behavior. Means because I am rich, I can pamper my people and dog. Learners, this is the story of Mrs. Femfrey and her dog, and she believes that surgery has been successful. But we know what James Harriet did, the, dog, the veterinarian did. Learners, that was the summary of the story, a triumph of surgery. So, now let me check your understanding how you have understood the story. You must have read it or you read it. Fine. Here are some statements based on the story you will have to say true or false. I am not going to give you the answer immediately. If needed, I will give you later or I am leaving to you. Statement 1. Mrs. Femfrey let the dog starve without food. Then, Mrs. Femfrey overfed the dog with the in between food. 3. Tricky was suffering from overeating and grew fat. 4. The narrator of the story is a veterinarian. Next statement 5. The narrator was as rich as Mrs. Femfrey. 6. Mrs. Femfrey could not put the dog into exercise. 7. The vet took the dog for close observation for 6 months. True or false? 8. The vet operated tricky for his illness. True or false? 9. Mrs. Humphrey brought eggs, wine and brandy to make the dog strong and hale. 10. The vet was happy to have all the eggs, wine and brandy. 11. Tricky recovered from his illness because the vet operated him on. 12. Mrs. Femfrey believed that it was a surgery which saved her Tricky. 13. Mrs. Femfrey pampered Tricky with lots of food. 14. Mr. Harriet, the vet was very harsh on the dog. 15. The dog got cured because he was treated like any other dog. True or false? 16. The vet was not fair as he had not given the eggs, wine and brandy to Tricky which Mrs. Humphrey brought. Learners, there were 16 statements. I do not know how, how many you got it right, how, how, how many were true, how many were false. We will show you at the end. 
Now, there is another toss for you learners. This is slightly higher. I am going to give you some multiple choice questions. One, Mrs. Femfrey's love for Tricky is revealed in over A, overfeeding him, B, her worries about his health, C, thinking that the vet would save him. Two, Mrs. Femfrey could be described as A, an eccentric and emotional woman with an excess love for her pet, B, a rational woman with an excess love for the pet, C, an irrational woman with genuine love for her pet, D, a normal rich lady with a pet dog. Why did Mr. Harriet want the dog to be kept under his observation? A, he knew that the lady would continue to feed the dog and spoil him. B, he wanted to operate the dog on and cure him of his illness. C, he wanted to feed the dog on his own. D, he wanted to satisfy Mrs. Pumphrey. Fourth question, why did not the vet give the dog anything for two days except water? A, he wanted the dog to get normal. B, he wanted the dog to reduce his fat. C, he wanted the dog to stop. D, he wanted the dog to die. Come on, select the most appropriate one. Sometimes some of the questions more than one option is right. Now, fifth question, who triumphed at last? A, the surgery. B, Mr. Harriet who wanted to discipline the dog without any surgery. C, Mrs. Femfrey, who believed that the surgery was performed on Tricky, D, Tricky, the pet dog. Learners, true or false, then followed by multiple choice question. But learners, let me tell you one thing clearly that this story is meant for pleasure, reading for pleasure. So, you may not have two more questions, other questions, you will have only one paragraph or essay type questions in your examination. So, you will have to learn to read the story, interpret and write. So, I am going to give you quickly uh, one writing talks, writing task based on the story, the experience. But before that, let, let's, let me show you the true or false answers and the multiple choice answers. Here they are for you. Fine learners, you must have checked with your answers. Now, the last activity of this lesson, here is a writing activity for you and you reflect on it, then write. Does the action Sorry, do the actions of Mrs. Femfrey right? Yes or no? He is an eccentric lady. She wanted to show off her uh, what's it, wealth. So, she, she, she fed the dog with all sorts of things. When it fell sick, she wanted immediately surgery to be done rather than seeing that it is a simple thing. You know, learners, now uh, this is a time for, you know, time of uh, this pandemic COVID-19, the coronavirus and many hospitals were closed except government hospitals and to treat only corona patients. So, they were, there are many chronic patients, means uh, diabetic, uh, so many diabetes, many, many diseases. But still hospital, the normal small, small things, small ailments, we stopped going to hospital. So, that means that we can cure ourselves by disciplining ourselves, uh, disciplining our food, then taking rest. So, that also says. So, that is one thing. Do the actions of Mrs. Femfrey right? Then, do you feel that children are also pampered like the way Tricky had been pampered by this lady? Some parents give excess thing, whatever children ask, they give. Nowadays, this mobile phone, send many, many things. 
then third one what is the difference between having freedom and getting pampered we have we should give freedom to children to think read write many thing on uh, to say things then let's take it so this is one the second one this story is not simply about tricky the dog or this lady it is about something else so what does the story signify what does the story mean to you it's not the dog is pampered it is children who are pampered unnecessarily and in that case who is mrs femfre in our social setting there are many femfres in our setting someone who pampers their children who is tricky i would say most children today are tricky they are overfed they want to eat more and they don't want to eat uh, home from uh, food from home then they want to eat all junk food who is mr harriet i know that your parents sometimes and the teachers are harriets what is the symbolism of the story you will have to think fine that is for your reflection now the task is for you as homework or school work whatever do the task what is the task should children be given complete freedom to eat whatever they like should children be given complete freedom to eat whatever they like yes or no learners you should not take one side stand sometimes they should be so ask write two arguments in favor means yes children should be given freedom to eat whatever they like then another two arguments no they should not be given to eat whatever they want to like they want to eat okay learners how do you write so let me suggest to your process we call it process approach to writing when you start writing first of all jot down the ideas which appears on your screen the process jot down the ideas make an outline once you have brought the ideas write how how will be organize your ideas then revise it write the first draft then revise it edit it then check the grammar and spelling errors mistakes language mistakes errors then finalize it this is called a called process approach to writing don't worry learners practice one or two and i am willing to take up your writing and uh, whoever writes you may please send to us here is the mail id you may send to ncert or my mail id we can check it and we can do a writing project learners with this we have come to the close of this lesson first lesson of supplementary reader class 10 a triumph of surgery before i close let me give you the learning outcomes of this lesson as it appears on your screen learners as a result of reading such stories learning you what do you do what have you learnt learners read stories and literary texts both fiction and non fiction short story long novel with the understanding for pleasure you read for uh, with understanding whatever you read you should understand for pleasure and enjoyment discuss and interpret ideas we have now read the story interpreted the ideas and we talked about how that pampering spoiled children many many things so you will have to come to an informed understanding of the story thank you very much learners we will meet you in the second lesson another lesson of class 10 in the future episodes thank you very much mm -hmm.